Good morning, family. I want to thank God. I want to thank King Jesus. I want to thank the Holy Spirit and the angels for another day, another opportunity to be here with you to spread love, peace, joy, truth, and hope to all who are watching. Praise God. Hey, family. Jesus made it possible for all of us to be children of God. Because before Jesus uh, came and died and resurrected, uh, all of us, you know, didn't have access to God. And all of us, you know, wasn't, uh, didn't have an opportunity, you know, to have the Holy Spirit. But Jesus made that all possible. When Jesus came and died and resurrected, the veil was torn. So we, uh, that way, you know, we all have an opportunity to have a personal with God. So, you know, take advantage of, of the gift, you know, that Jesus has done so much for us. And also, too, you know, uh, when you plead the blood of Jesus, uh, you know, you're covered by his blood. And Satan, you know, he, he can't overcome that. So, you know, become a child of God, you know, and move in love because there's no power stronger than love. And God is love. So, you know, when you roll with love, you got it all. But when you choose to roll in fear and harm others instead of loving others, then you roll in with Satan. And uh, you roll with that lesser power. And you're going to be left here looking up when, when Jesus comes. So don't be left here looking up when Jesus comes. Praise God. So anyway, yesterday I was led to, this is uh, starting here. It's Ephesians 2, starting here at 19. So now you Gentiles are no longer strangers or foreigners. You are citizens along with all of God's holy people. So, you know, we all have an opportunity to be a uh, part of, of God's uh, family. Praise God. You know, that's our choice. You know, he gives you a choice. He doesn't force you. But, you know, uh, so you can't get mad at God, you know, when you don't catch that ride with Jesus because you have a choice. And if you listen to me, uh, you can't say you didn't hear it uh, because uh, not only is he using me, he's used Jesus and he's used other children of God. So, you know. Take take that invitation and become a child of God and catch that ride with Jesus and have peace and have power and have love and, you know, and be a part of changing someone's life for the better instead of the worse. Praise God. You are members of God's family. Together, we are his house built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets. And the cornerstone is Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. When you when you when you standing on Jesus, you stand on rock, baby. So stand on that rock, cause if you're not standing with, with Jesus, and, and and you stand on that rock, you stand on sand. And when the storms come and the winds blow, uh, you're gonna be blown away. But you won't be blown away when you're standing with Jesus. Praise God. We are careful, carefully joined together in Him, becoming a holy temple for the Lord through Him. You Gentiles are also being made part of this dwelling where God lives by his spirit. Praise God. You know, you, you can't get no better than God. You know, a lot of people try, you know, and, they, and the devil will, you know, deceive people. But you can't do better than God. Even Satan tried to, try. you know, he tried to, uh, uh, you know, God created him. And then he tried to be God. Can't nobody, there's only one God. And, and I know who he is because I have a person with him. There's a lot of people in this world that think they're God you know, try to control people's lives. But let me tell you, y'all are God. There's only one God, and he made y'all too. Praise God. This is the synopsis. Through Jesus Christ, the wall between God and his sinful creature, cre it means to start again. Through Jesus Christ and the wall between God and his sinful creatures has been removed, but Christ works on reconciliation does not stop there. He can also remove the obstacles that alienate us from other people. And one of those things that, that helps us, you know, with the alienation from other people is forgiveness and making amends. Those are powerful, powerful tools of the Spirit. And when we use them, you know, it clears out, you know, a lot of dirt and, you know, a lot of negativity in our lives so, you know, we can have more of that light and that, and that peace. Praise God. In Christ... We can have peace with God and with others. Restorating, restor, restoration of our broken relationship is a necessary part of the recovery process. Some of us may feel that our relationships could never be salvaged. But realizing that Christ can give us the power to live at peace with others gives us a new hope. 
His power will enable us to make amends to people we have wronged. So, you know, a lot of times, you know, we don't want to make amends, but right here it says God will give us the power. God will give us the want to make amends. You know, he, he'll let us know, you know, we need to make amends. And then he'll, if we choose to, you know, make amends, he'll give us what we need to, to want to do it. And, and, you know, because it's hard, you know, to, to say, you know, I'm wrong, but that's just the ego. You know, when, when we uh, do spiritual work, you know, we put the ego in its place. It doesn't run us, you know, spirit runs us and, and the ego has a beginning and an end, but our spirit always has been and always will be. So be led, you know, by that love that always has been, and always will be because the spirit, I mean, the ego is part of the, that fear and, you know, and, and it, it will trick you and, and, and keep you, you know, from catching that ride. So let, don't let your ego keep you from catching that ride with King Jesus. Praise God. All who believe in Christ are made brothers and sisters in him. So are you a brother and sister in Christ? If you're not and you're watching me, you still got a chance, you know, except King Jesus, you know, move in love, you know, instead of fear. Be willing, you know, to to uh, to uh, deflate your ego, you know, and and incorporating spiritual principles does that. You know, and like I say, the, the three most important to me are honesty, open mindedness and willingness and then defeat that deflate that ego and, and move that trash and that dirt out of your life so you can uh, be closer to God and, and you can uh, you can and move, you know, in his will in your life. Because if you're not moving in God's will in your life, you're leaving stuff on the shelf. So don't leave that stuff on the shelf, y'all. Get all that God has for you. And you can do that by, by moving in love. But anyway, that's all I have today, family. Let love reign in your life. There's no relationship greater than the one with our loving and glorious creator. I love you. God bless you and have a very blessed day. Bye.